in the front lip. One of those moments, I mean, I've been talking about this for years. I love it, I really do. This is freaking ridiculous, bro. Look. Not only am I gonna have to drive my truck to work with no headlights in it. But it's freaking snowing outside. Like what what the what am I what am I supposed to do with this? Alright, so here's the plan. Got no headlights, no grill, no valence, just fog lights. I don't know if you can tell from the, from the video, but it's fucking snowing. Look at look at this. Look at this trash out here. Frozen buttons. Just so y'all can really look. I mean look look at the this is like stupid, bro. So y'all can see what we're working with right now. Frozen gas pump. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not even gonna talk about the gas prices. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Close my mind. But all right, look. So we got the, the grill, old headlights, since the new ones won't be done for about a week. Valence. We gotta get all that put on today. I think the tires are gonna be here today. <clears throat> Should be really nice. But obviously that remains to be seen. Who knows? I'm thinking like, y'all y'all gonna flame me in the comments. I'm thinking like 30 bucks. We just gonna ride out, we're gonna get to work, and then we're gonna do it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. All right, now stop. All right, now. All right. Look, look at the, just the ice. Okay, all right, that went. Not not happening, okay. Something in my mouth. Something in my mouth, the wind's blowing. Ah, freaking cold. This, is, this, this ain't for the Florida boy, I'm telling you. Something that I enjoy about doing YouTube, and I was actually reading this in a book the other night. I don't know if y'all know who Gary V is, Gary Vaynerchuk. And what he was talking about, and something that he preaches a lot of, is document, don't create. <clears throat> as content creators, it doesn't. you don't even have to be an influencer, just as a person in general that enjoys creating content. You don't, as a content creator, you're not obligated to make unique content. You are the unique content. As a human being, as a unique person that is different than every other human on this planet, our lifestyle, our documenting our life is the is the unique content. And that's what I enjoy is waking up every day and it's not that I have to I have to change what I'm doing or come up with some unique crazy idea. But I say that to say I've been taking a couple days off. I've been sick. My face is drying up like crazy and I look like I've been hit by a truck. And most people, to be honest, wouldn't get on camera and, and film this right now. Most people wouldn't get on here and talk about this. You know, but when I read that last night, it really was like, damn, you know, these are moments that I can look back at in a year. These are moments that I can look back at hell next week and say, damn, you know, I, I made it through that. You know, this is validation of you know, on those days when you wake up on a Tuesday morning and you you don't feel like doing <laughs> these are these are the days you're gonna look back and say, I didn't feel like doing it, but I did it, and now we're now we're ahead of the game. Now now we're further on in the journey. You know, so it's kind of where my head's at today. You know, just trying to pull myself out of the the semi rut that I'm in at the moment, and I just want to say I appreciate you guys for uh, following along. You know, even as as far as you do. But we're gonna make it work. We'll chase his bread. Y'all sell reps here? You got sixes and sevens in stock? Are these fours and fives or sixes and sevens? Y'all sell the front you lift? Y'all got that rough no, country lift in stock? Squat my truck in the front. Will the trajectory of the squat match the lean of my hat? Hey, do you think these will fit on a leveling kit? 
And y'all saw those gladiators? Bro! If I crank my keys up two more inches, do you think these will fit? Can I stack a two-inch leveling kit on top of this? Do you think this will scrub on the back? I want the fender to fit in between the tread pattern. Do you think that'll work? Why, why am I paying more for labor if we're just putting in the front lift? Why, why can you not take money off? You like the new logo? I can only think of one person that's not gonna like the new logo. I'm gonna leave them nameless. Is this my size? The logo? It can be. This was hard. Right, the camo was good. Yeah, I like the camo. I didn't want you. I didn't mean you can't touch it. I just wanted to open. No, I just wanted to look at the colors. How much is one of these camos? I don't know. I like the darker one. I didn't approve work to be done. I mean, I could do suspension work, absolutely. But as far as dealing with them, it's not really done. Yeah, it feels good. It feels like high. It don't feel like. It don't feel cheap. Like I thought it was gonna feel cheap. I thought you could spray me with water and it would just roll off the edges. Does it look good or does it look like? Yeah, it's different. Do it. I like it. I'm used to seeing you in one solid color. It's different. Good, different? Different. I don't, I don't get what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, do you like this this hoodie? What, the black shirt that you're wearing right now? Oh, no. The black southern tire shirt that you're wearing right now? Look, oh, I know where you're going with this. You're, you're making a camo joke. For the people at home watching, Alex just made a camo joke on me because camo makes you unseeable like John Cena, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm being really weird right now. I'm gonna have to cut this out of the video. There's just being some weird. floating blue jeans over here, huh? I'm being weird. So I see you wearing a black shirt and some jeans. You had the Southern Tire shirt, the like the the jersey style. You're being weird right now, Jake. I feel good. You know what I feel like? Like a guy wearing a t-shirt. If I was an underground rapper and I was about to perform, this is kind of what I would wear. Like, you look like one of them skater kids off of an old TV show. See you later, boy. Boy. Like a rug rat or something. With a beard. Hold on, let me reappear. And stuff like that. They kind of go together, don't they? What? Those two shirts he's got on. Southern Tire. Uh, the Southern Tire is present. So they can see. Oh, don't drop it. Because Alice going to say I did it. Great game. I'm gonna get one of the baseball jerseys. Whenever you want it. Look at that outfit there. I got way too many characters on my channel that needs a, I need a, I need a boy baseball jersey. That's what I need. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I want a white one. A white one. Gotta be a white one. Great. No, see, what up? Oh, boy. I can do like a, I can do like a, What's up? I'm gonna go. Oh, that's lit. That's hard. That's lit right there. <laughs> so, Jake's gonna be mad at me. I'm opening this one. Okay. Go ahead. Jake said, oh no, you're already opening. Go ahead. No, I said that because I wanted to wait until we had the camera out before we opened all the stuff. What right? I gotta do to get a baseball jersey? I want a white one. A white baseball jersey. You're working on it. It look good. Hey, hey, all I'm saying, look, all jokes aside with the basketball jersey, I'm just saying. Whenever y'all are ready to get crossed up, you let me know. Uh -huh. I come ready with the Nike socks in case one of y'all want to crossed up in the comments. Then you know. You not a ball? What you say, my boy? You not a ball? I don't know. <laughs> you act yeah, like you do. Don't play games. Steve Nash. I know he can kick pretty good. <laughs> In my opinion, one of the one of the if not the cleanest trucks, in my opinion, that's ever come through the shop. You guys know I have a, a secret love for the silver 
in my in my heart. Obviously, I got a silver truck, and I, I don't. I can't remember if I did like a, a full walk around of this truck last time I was here. You shout out the trip. I was coming through, showing love to the guys at the shop, showing love to the channel. We got a, a show that he's he's throwing in May, I believe. I'm gonna put the information in the description below. Um, it's a cruising show. Um, I believe it's uh, is it Coeta County, something like that. I'll make sure to put all the information uh, in the description below. But we got this uh, beautiful 2021 Chevy Silverado, all color matched silver. I love the the color match work on the front. All the accent pieces on the front. The grill inserts, the bow tie. We've got this really nice red, white, and blue, or red, white, red, silver, and blue, or whatever combination color you want to call it. It's red, blue, and red, blue, silver combination going on. It's got that American American flag vibe. We got the color matched, clear lens tow mirrors, the 2500 tow mirrors. Absolutely beautiful on this truck. So we got some 2614. American Force. Now I'm terrible with the names of the American Force wheels, but I absolutely love this wheel. We got the 37 inch Gladiators, of course, chrome spike lug nuts. Something that I was talking with him about. I wonder what this one is. I, I set a lot of uh, alarms on my phone to keep, keep me on track during the day. One thing I really like about these wheels is the shallow center cap. Look how deep the center cap is. I mean, it's literally like maybe, maybe an inch. Something like that. So he's got a real shallow center cap on this wheel, which I'm a big fan of, considering you know how big my Forge Auto center caps are, and that's obviously ultimately why I ordered my own custom floating center cap. Shout out to uh, Cap Kings. I got some of those on the way with the Bread Gang logo. I'm pretty excited, but the shallow uh, inserts, shallow center caps are definitely a must-have on these wheels. Like I said, we got a beautiful red, white, and blue powder-coated lift kit under here. The spindles, the shocks, the struts, every just about everything. Red and blue. Look, we got the McGoy center caps, also custom painted. We got with the blue on top, which is really nice. If you guys can see that under here, really beautiful. I love the red and the blue color choice on here. It's really, really nice. Front compression struts done. Leaf springs done. Part of the axle done. I mean, it's it's just beautiful. This truck's just beautifully done. Rear bumper. We got the trailer hitch. The train horn that's under there is red and blue as well. Shout out Team Billet. Shout out Sal and Armando from Team Billet. I mean, obviously, just a beautiful truck. Want to make sure to share some love while he was while it was here. Like I said, we got a show in May, and I will make sure to put all the information in the description below. Shout out to Trip for coming through, showing some love. We love the truck, bro. It looks really good. <laughs> Go do it again. You think so? You ain't gonna do it again. You think so? I gotta close the door. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> How do we get so lucky and uh, deserve somebody as gracious as Philip to come do burnouts? Burnouts. Burnouts? He's gotta be stopped. That's like a customer. Spending money. Spending money. Spending money. That's it. Spending tires. Yeah, spending money on tires. That's it. <laughs> Look, it's been, it's been a long time, right? Lou's, Lou's truck is definitely one of the favorites on the channel. I need y'all to stop playing. I'm trying to convince Lou. Can I even say what we're trying to do? Not numbers, but can I just say what we're trying to do? I'm trying to convince Lou to buy some, some 26 by 16s and some 40s and, and do a body look. Y'all need to buy his wheels and tires. So look, 26 by 14 Archons to the Lincolns, right? 
Yep. Orcon Lincolns with the Gladiators. <clears throat> Probably about 75% tread. Super well kept. I mean, just look at the truck. I don't think I've ever seen this truck dirty a day in my life, Luke. This truck's never dirty. 2614 Archon Lincolns with chrome spike lug nuts. Gladiators, he's even got a fifth one. He's got the spare. It's in the back. It's got a brand new tire on it, brand new wheel. Never ridden on. Y'all stop playing. Come buy loose wheels and tires so we can cash my man out on some 26 by 16s and 40s and a body lift. I want to see it happen. We need to see it happen. I know that you guys would like to see it. So hit me up. Shoot me a DM on Instagram at that white bow tie. Show some love. Somebody come cash my man Lou out. I'm trying to get him on some 40s. Stop playing. I'm being serious. I'm sorry. Nicest truck out here. I'm sorry. Skinny bow tie takes. I'm sorry. Nicest truck out. I think this is it. I've been waiting on these tires for like a week and a half. Well, why are you late so late? It ain't my fault. Huh? Why do you have a microphone, too? Because I got a YouTube channel that I film. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to put you on camera. Yeah. I promise. I would. Not right. Might be famous. Famous? <laughs> <laughs> You're famous. No. I just drive a truck. I'm pretty sure. I think our, your wheels and my tires are on here. No wheels. No wheels? Just tires. Oh! That's what I've been waiting for. Hey, your wheels are supposed to be here today. I thought your wheels, she said wheels and tires. I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh man, it's a big moment. It is. It is. Yes. If you if you only knew. Look, they're just starting to knock a little bit. So. Still snowing, but I made it to work. I don't, I don't know how. I mean, I passed a couple of cops, and I, I swear I was going to shit myself. I, I really didn't think I was going to make it, but. So last time you guys will see the truck like this, I am going to put the grill, the valence, and the old headlights back in that are in the back of the truck today, just because I need to be able to drive it home. Uh, I need to check on, I got to check engine light on right now. My, I think uh, I'm having an issue with the sensor or something with the cooling pan up front that's stuck on, but we'll deal with that in a little bit. Jimmy's wheels are coming off. Look at that snow that I cannot, I physically cannot believe that it's snowing out here right now. But I want to show you guys a couple of cool trucks that are out here before we walk inside and get started. I mean, look. See the snow on my on my jacket. So we got Jimmy's truck out here with the four Giados. I'm joining the four Giado gang today, Jimmy. I'm super, super excited. We got Nathan's truck out here. Love Nathan's truck, the silver 26 by 12 axe wheels. Shout out to Axe with the Gladiators. Gotta have the McGoys lift on it. Absolutely beautiful. Love the silver and black. You know I'm a big fan of the silver and black. Absolutely love it. Now this one is one I've been waiting to show you guys for quite some time now. It's another local guy. This one's got about a nine inch FTS lift with this like real like dark cherry red lift kit on it. I'm a big fan of this color. The color's really beautiful. Got Cognito upper control arms. Obviously got the red uh, torsion bars under here. The red drop kits or the drop face plates. Big 2020, 2021 Denali. But the coolest thing about this truck is we've got some, some floating center caps coming for the Ford Giados with the black F in it. But we got a 26 by 14 Ford Giado with the Gladius. We're, we're becoming a Ford Giado shop. I don't know what it is. I'm loving it. I can't complain. But them Ford Giados, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm super blessed. I'm super excited. And this, oh, hell, this truck looks so good. The, uh, you got the, uh, the Chrome FTS Reservoir shocks on top. You can see those. We got them in the rear too. It's a beautiful truck. I love the way the Ford Giotto's turned out. Love the floating center caps. That Well, the floating center caps are coming. Those are gonna look really good. But I wanna make sure to show you guys this truck. This one's been at the shop for a couple of days. That one turned out really good. I'm super excited about that one. But we got some cool stuff at the shop here today. Got a Jeep on some, uh, Jeep on some blue wheels over here. Like I said, we got silver one. Got Jimmy's truck with the Ford Giottos with the floating center caps, the spikes. Okay, it kind of looks mean without the grill on it though. I kind of like it. Something about it, I kind of like without the without the grill and the headlights on it. Y'all ready to see some chrome wheels on this thing? 
Come on, I'm so excited. 24-14s and 375s. Let's get it. Let's get this bread, baby. Jimmy. Jimmy, I'm joining the gang today. I'm joining the gang today. The Forgiato gang. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't, to be honest, I can't even believe this moment has come. I've been talking about this on the channel for like four years, like three years. It's a moment. It's a big moment. Snow finally stopped. This is uh, one of those moments. I mean, I've been talking about this for years. Any of you that have followed me on the channel, you know, I was telling Chauncey and Jimmy a minute ago, I don't have the biggest, nicest truck in the world. You know, I don't have the biggest wheels. I don't have the biggest lift kit. I don't have the newest truck. But I finally, I'm, I'm at peace with myself now. Not that the truck is finished. We got some other stuff that we're gonna do to it. But I'm at peace with myself that I'm, I've, you know, for the longest time I've been talking about doing things and doing things on this channel and just in life. And it's, it's, it's a self accomplishment above the channel, just me personally and my soul that I can get to a point and finally accomplish something that I've been talking about. And that's part of the point of where I've evolved on this channel is showing you guys that if you dedicate yourself something and you really truly put the time in, you can do anything that you want to do in your life. And it just, I love it. I really do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be working with Nitto. Shout out to uh, Ian from Nitto Pit Crew. I'm blessed to be working with Forgiato. Shout out Chris from Forgiato. We're about to kill the game. It's just, like I said, it's not the biggest, nicest truck in the world, but it's mine and it's bringing me back to that wide bow tie. It's what we've, it's what we've been on, it's what we're about. And, and we're back. There's been a lot of speculation about these wheels, a lot. 2414 Forgiato Fluso, Spike Lugs, 375, 4024 Nitto Trail Graps. You look cold. You look really cold back there. You want me to hurry? Look, it's still snowing a little bit right now. This is crazy, isn't it? I don't, I don't even, it's, it's weird. When I go to film somebody else's truck, I can talk and I can talk and I like this and I like that. And then I go to film my own truck and I don't even know what to say. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's a surreal moment and I'm, and I'm grateful for you guys behind the camera for ultimately showing love to the channel and, and spending time out of your day to watch me and what I do and I love you guys more than anything in this world. You guys are why I wake up every day and come to work and film videos. So I can do stuff like this and I can have opportunities like this. You know, shout out to, uh, you know, Southern Tire and shout out to Jake. I mean, this is, this isn't just another set of wheels to me. You guys know that I don't swap wheels and tires ever. You know, I don't do things like this. I never do my own stuff. You know, none of this would be possible without the relationships that I've, that I've built with, with Jake over here at Southern Tire and all the people here, Thomas, Christina, all of it. You know, I'm, I'm going full on post game interview right now because that's how I feel right now. You know, my, my face is dried up. I've been down in the fucking dumps for the last week. I haven't been able to really just film anything. It just, I needed this. I needed this. And, I, and I'm super grateful for you guys behind the camera for allowing me to do stuff like this. And I love you guys more than anything in the world. We're gonna do more videos with the wheels. We're gonna do more reveals. But I just want you to know I love you guys. Let's get this fucking bread. Cold out here, man. <laughs> but we still gonna get spread. We getting this bread, regardless. <laughs>